Good morning. Have you ever approached God and you were worshiping him and, and suddenly it came to your mind, you realized you had something against somebody else? Today we're going to read from Mark 11, verses 25 to 26. Here's what it says. And whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him, that your Father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father in heaven forgive your trespasses. So this is a short passage we're looking at today, but it is so important. It's focused on the necessity of forgiveness. Christians are people who seek reconciliation with others whenever it's possible. We should be the first ones to seek reconciliation. But Jesus teaches us to initiate reconciliation when we can be the one to do it. You and I need to be the one who initiates it, who begins it, who begins the process. Now, it's true that sometimes reconciliation with another person just isn't possible. You know, as they say, it takes two people to dance. It takes two people to be reconciled with each other, I know. But we should attempt to, and, and we should plead with God and pray that he'll intervene so that that can be something that will happen. It's so important. For us to be right with God means there shouldn't be anything between us and someone else, if at all possible. There just shouldn't. And so that's what we need to do is make an effort. You know, we don't value unity as highly as we ought to. Unity just seems like it's a low priority for some of us. I, I really don't know why. I guess it comes from a high, highly individualistic, uh, very selfish society all around us. But we have been tainted by that, and we don't try hard enough to have unity with each other. And so that's something we really should do. We, when we come before God to worship Him, we should be at one with each other and with Him. And that's a really a necessity that we follow that out and do what we can to, to see that be the truth in our experience. The truth is that many of us are quick to fight and slow to forgive. But that's not the way it's supposed to be. We want to draw close to God. God's values are, are different. They're just so different that, again, when we discover that this is something that maybe God brings it to our mind while we've approached him in worship, we should uh, make that strong effort to be reconciled. Now, sometimes somebody is thousands of miles away or hundreds of miles away. Sometimes there's no way really to, to uh, maybe they've died. It gets harder to reconcile. So there might, it might not be doable, or they refuse to talk to you, receive, refuse to receive communications from you. But we need to do our part. We should, because we really are seeking their good. And we don't want wrath to set on us or on the other party. So let's try to be reconciled. So when we become aware there's somebody we're not at peace with, we should stop and make it a priority to go and seek out that person and become at one with them. So... There you go. There's an assignment, and surely one that, that you and I each have some work to do on. This is a high Christian value. I think we can call it forgiveness supreme. And that's not a hamburger. It's just something very important that we should practice. Nobody's going to walk down and practice it for us. You and I need to be first. Will you be the first to try to reconcile with your brother? Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, help us to be forgiving people, reconciling people. Give us your Holy Spirit so that we can be united with others. Help us to work together. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for the privilege of reconciling and being part of a group of people who seek real reconciliation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God be with you today as you serve him.